Welcome back guys, my name is Patrick, aka the Oilers Fanatic, and this is the Oilers Rundown for January 18th, 2022. Well, let's kick things off with a roster move. The Oilers have placed William Lagason on waivers. The move is to make room for Chris Russell to rejoin the lineup on Thursday against Florida. William Lagason has looked good in spurts for the Oilers. He had a rough game against Ottawa, paired with Evan Bouchard. His agent, Alan Walsh, made headlines earlier when Darnell Nurse made his return and William Lagason was a late scratch to the lineup. He publicly criticized Dave Tippett for doing that. Not too happy. There was rumors that William Lagason has asked for a trade out of Edmonton, so it'll be interesting to see if a team picks him up on waivers. Uh, we'll find out at noon tomorrow if William Lagason is still an Oiler. It was an eventful media scrum today for the Oilers. Leon Dreisaitl and Jim Matheson got into it. Here's a clip. What do you think is the number one reason for the losses now? Is there, is there one thing that you, in your own mind you're saying, we got to get better at that? Yeah, we, ha we have to get better at everything. Would you like to expand on that? Nope. You can do that. You know everything. Why are you so pissy, Leon? Hmm? Why are you so pissy? I'm not. I'm just I, answering your yeah, question. Yeah, you are. Whenever I ask you a question. I gave you an answer. Not very good one. Okay. Yeah. I have one more for you. Leon, you show your frustration on the ice last game against Ottawa. Is that a good thing when you show it so the other team knows you're frustrated? Yeah, it's a great thing, for sure. Jim Matheson is getting defended by multiple media personalities on Twitter. Mark Spector's coming to his defense. I believe Robin Brownlee's come to his defense. And also Steve Simmons in Toronto. Not a guy I'd want in my corner, but hey. And of course, the majority of fans are on Leon's side in this argument. I take Leon's side as well. It was a ridiculous question. Jim Matheson has a history of this attacking Nico Koskinen earlier in the year, and it goes on and on. I think remember a clip, I think from last year, he's asking Ryan Nugent Hopkins stupid questions. Jim Matheson has a history of this. It's a dumb question to ask. Of course, Leon Dreisel is pissy right now. I'm sure the whole team is frustrated and angry, so it's a dumb question. Ryan Robinson on Twitter posted this mashup with Brendan Perlini after the Jim Matheson Leon Dreisettle incident. Grateful for our group to go through periods like this because then when we'll get back to winning, it's like, ah, I like that feeling. You know, I want to keep winning. Maybe before we weren't grateful enough for, for winning games and we have to go through something like this to learn and come through it better. Why are you so pissy? Say again. Uh, there's been a lot of talk the last few days about the NHL's schedule revisions coming out. John Shannon just posting on Twitter that they will be released tomorrow. So we'll finally find out where the Oilers' makeup games will be. There's going to be quite a few scheduled during the original Olympic break. It'll be good for the Oilers to get those games in. they got to start playing games right now, trying to get in some kind of rhythm. And most importantly, of course, they got to start winning some games and get back in the race here. And we got a big Evander Kane update from David Pagnota of the fourth period. The NHL's latest investigation into Evander Kane is expected to conclude midweek, upon which a final report will detail its findings, a source close to the situation told the fourth period on Tuesday. Kane has been able to speak with NHL clubs in the meantime and still appears to be in position to sign with the Edmonton Oilers after the investigation wraps and the league signs off on it. If Kane does not have to face any further penalty from the NHL for crossing the border, and those within his camp tell me they are confident he will not, the 30-year-old will then finalize contract details with a new club. According to one source, he could sign as early as later this week. Several teams reached out to Kane's agent Dan Milstein after Kane became a free agent, but an agreement with the Oilers is expected to go through, barring any last-minute snags. So it sounds like the Oilers might be getting Evander Kane after all. Sounds like he may be avoiding another suspension. As of now, it sounds like we could get a resolution on Evander Kane as early as tomorrow, and he could be an Oiler possibly tomorrow, Thursday or Friday. So we'll see what happens going forward, but that's the latest. And lastly for today, Elliot Freeman reporting the following. Hearing NHL, NHLPA agreeing on no longer testing asymptomatic players and staff after the All-Star break. At that point, testing only required for cross-border travel and if a person develops symptoms. So that should help with uh, teams losing players to COVID protocol constantly. And I know it was a hot topic debate around the league for testing asymptomatic players. So 
I'm sure a lot of people around the league are going to be happy to hear that that's the, going to be the new rule going forward after the All-Star break. That's all for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see you soon. Take care.